We gotta pray the most half a year, oh. yeah. We gotta pray the most half a year, oh. We gotta hope and pray that he don't kill her. Yeah. Oh. Oh, go down. Um, I drop to my knees and I pray to the Father. Screaming so like you, I buy your hour. He got the light, he got the power. We got the truth, now is the hour. My people been fighting for so long. He done been doing us so wrong. He know we ready to go home. Won't be much longer, just hold on. I drop to my knees and I pray to the Father. Screaming so like you, I buy your hour. He got the light, he got the power. We got the truth, now is the hour. My people been fighting for so long. He done been doing us so wrong. He know we ready to go home. Won't be much longer, just hold on. Gotta get it right, yeah, we gotta come back. You don't wanna die, looking up hat and cracking that sky. What? It's your hoe or shy, better pick a side that left with that right. right. It's a homicide. I told the devil to get in the back. Spiritual riches, I fill up a sack. At church, I was sleeping the service. They told me to get up and worship, but all of your idols are worthless. The devil be right in there working. Drop top with a V12. Look at the path that he's swerving. Look at his daughter, she twerking. I had to switch and reverse it Sometimes I can't really believe That you gave me a piece of the pie Anything that I desire I wanna live in the sky All in the blink of an eye We gotta pray the most half a year up. Yeah We gotta pray the most half a year up. I drop to my knees and I pray to the Father Screaming so like you, I buy your hour He got the light, he got the power We got the truth, now is the hour My people been fighting for so long He done been doing us so wrong He know we ready to go home won't be much longer, just hold on I drop to my knees and I pray to the Father Screaming so like you, I buy your hour He got the light, he got the power We got the truth, and now is the hour My people been fighting for so long He done been doing us so wrong He know we ready to go home Won't be much longer, just hold on in Smyrna, Georgia. Gotta drop these um, shingles off in the morning. But I think I'm both to try to, if it's possible, I'm gonna go ahead and try to squeeze two more loads off for this week. So if you got something that can pick up tomorrow, deliver tomorrow, or deliver over the weekend, pick up Sunday, drop that Monday. This week been kind of slow. 
You know what I'm saying? So, hyped on the phone with the fleet manager. Hey, bro, this week been slow. Like, I, I'm going to need the revenue. You know what I'm saying? So, he was like, all right, cool. Toss me this load here. After I dropped off the lumber up there in Fayetteville, Tennessee, dropped it off up there. Then we came down to Decatur, Alabama, pick up these shingles, Smyrna, Georgia. They probably got a shingle load tomorrow, picking up out Atlanta. They'll probably go back to Alabama. Then I can get some out of Alabama. And we can, yeah, like, just keep it going, keep it steady, you know. So I know last week, um, I did three short loads last week, which I wasn't really too much. It was just slow down after slow down after slow down. So I think last week I only took on what well, this week I only took on like a thousand. Like it was like a little short run. So I ain't really I ain't tripping on it, but it was really out of my control. You know, getting to one spot and trying to deliver, and the people they was like, "We're not gonna take it right now," and um. I guess they had to redo the pavement or whatever. So I ended up being at that spot for like a total of like six hours for no reason. The drive there load, I had to go sit another hour and a half, pick up another load, you know, take that down to Florida, come back up, grab one. It was just, you know, coming out of Florida, that was another, that was just like gas money. Then we picked up, uh, grabbed another one. It's just, man, it, last, I couldn't, I couldn't win last week. I'm not going to hold you. That last week was just one of them weeks, but it's like, all right, boom, three loads, probably, I think it's like 800 miles or something like that, um, including the deadhead. So that put me, it just, a little thousand dollar a week, nothing too major, nothing crazy. I'm not one of them that's going to toss some extra numbers out there. It's like, yeah, bro, I did, I, I didn't, <laughs> I didn't. Like, I'm going to keep it a thousand at all times. It's been weeks over here. Well, um, my fleet manager was out one week. This had to be like the worst week I ever had here. So my fleet manager was out one week. And then um, a dude was substituting for him. And I think that week I took on like $400, $480-something. Dollars. I, I pulled one load and got pissed off. I'm like, nah, this ain't how I run. Like, I don't know what the hell y'all trying to do. I don't do that nighttime delivery and don't... I don't, and then the places they'll tell me pick up. I'm like, bro, you ain't about to throw me in no loop. You know what I'm saying? So that was like my worst week here. But I did come um, just for the little slight breakdown. You know, I almost been here November 17th. I make a whole year of being with WTI. You know, we came over as lease purchase, you know, two year lease or whatnot like that, which sometimes I do feel like they try to dry you out to get. You know, because, like, with some of these loads, when you be like, bro, what loads at? Like, what's going on? Like, oh, we ain't got nothing. And then, like, you know, everybody that you going to end up working with, they're going to be like, oh, it's like that everywhere. It, it's really nice, bro, because I know people at other spots where it's like, bro, these people are constantly moving. No matter, you know, where they going or what region they in. And some companies run their loads to the point where, they not going to put you in a situation to where, like, you got to go drive that load. And then you turn around and you got to deadhead four, five hundred miles. You know what I'm saying? They just not going to put you in that type of situation, especially when you the one paying for the fuel. And that's one thing I tried to cut down a lot is that deadhead because that's out of my pocket. So we definitely got to chill that all the way out. Um, Within the 11 months of me being here, uh... I did 176 loads. Brought me out to $149,834.18 gross. It's gross. It's a difference between gross and net. Let me get to it. Because you're already starting to talk that. Let me get to it. So, with gross, $194,800 and some change, whatever like that. Right now, after this week, it's like at 198,000 and some change. Let me just put it right here. Oh, um, net is $87,296.41. That's take home. The average person is probably taking home forty to fifty thousand dollars a year. Honestly, before this lease and other companies I've been with, I've taken home more. 
which you know what i'm saying i'm not even gonna hold you this sometimes be like that dollar mile situation like i'm not like i say once again i'm not gonna sugarcoat it like some weeks bro it's that dollar mile week bro when you look at your mileage and you look at how much you took home you're like bro that's a dollar mile like and you're gonna have it's often too like it's not none of them damn bro three dollars a mile this week bro on average bro this is not that company this is this is not them bro you gonna you gonna run for that damn money so i'm not no sugar coder bro i'm gonna just tell you 100 percent um deduction wise i'm talking about insurance fuel the 7.5 percent for your maintenance um truck payment all that deductions one hundred and seven thousand dollars five hundred and thirty a hundred and seven thousand five hundred and thirty seven dollars it's 77 cent i had to slow that down like my brain just started but yeah you pay more deductions than you gonna take home just believe it i hope you guys somebody not do your taxes you hear me and i hope if you got any type of dependency you writing off the twelve thousand dollars for each dependent that you can do every year also i hope that you got some type of non-profit organization llc sitting around that you can easily write off to transfer some of that tax debt let me tell you something don't ask me how I know. I'm just trying to throw you a little game. You know what I'm saying? It worked for me. I'm telling you, if you ain't doing it, you're going to turn around. And when your taxes come, your ass going to end up on $30,000 to $40,000. And your ass ain't even take that home. I'm trying to tell you on everything I love. Because on everything I love. No real deal, though. I hope you got Wait, no diddy. Hey, real fact. You're going to want to make sure your taxes is correct. Because, boy. Or you can take my experience take 10 percent of your monthly net and put it to the side and when your quarterly come around send it to them and you do that and then when your tax is coming you you file they end up on you and i'm talking about 10 15 like if you're doing it properly and you making a you know about the same amount of money whatever like that they're gonna end up owing you bro because you don't pay too much taxes to them i'd rather them owe me than me owe them they just me being honest you know what i'm saying and when you got multiple llc's or whatnot like bro that's that's money at the end of the year you know i am one of them people hey tax time hit hey yeah what's happening i'm in the door you hear me like all the way for real though you know what i'm saying that's my time to shine out you because that was mine's I was all chill, you know, trying to sacrifice and all that, do the right thing to be a businessman. Like, it's my time. Give my damn money, man. Give my money, man. What do you say? Give my money, man. Like, will you be all chill struggling, man? I need my bread. Give my bread. Hey, bro, do your taxes properly. I'm, it's going to help you. You know what I'm saying? All calls are recorded for quality and training purposes at the end of the goddamn day. And at the end of the day, they still got to end. <laughs> Don't do it. So make sure you're doing that taxes. And like I just said, bro, they're going to eat your ass up with these deductions they got over here. You going to, bro, the fuel surcharge. <clears throat> this be being honest, bro. Fuel surcharge in, in the toilet, bro. In the toilet. Rate wise, uh, you might get lucky. Like on this load I just did that I got right now. 200 miles, $1,000. Like, okay, yeah, that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. But not all the time. Like, you can't do this all week long. Like, this is just that, okay, cool. Everything else paid off. Boom, boom, boom. We got this in line. All right, let's keep it pushing. This load was good enough. Once again, we get paid 68% of the load as well. So, you just take that, break that down. I just do the line haul. Hey, forget it. $1,000 as long as I'm gross to six. I'm good. I'm going to, yeah, like, we all good. As far as what I done paid for this truck this year so far. It's $31,248. Right now, I think I'm in like week 48 or something like that when it comes to my truck payment. So, y'all already know when we touch. What is it? Don't even, don't. It's too many numbers. When we touch that two-year mark, bro. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Your boy ready to sit down. You know what I'm saying? But no, for real, on real, real tip. Um, that 7.8%, I done paid 
$15,197.66 into my maintenance account. Right now, my maintenance account is sitting by like at $3,000. I just got brand new tires. I still need three more of them. I be being cheap sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Them other tires, bro, like it is what it is, bro. But I try to keep as much in that maintenance account as possible because you can use that maintenance account to pay your truck off. So that's one of the other key factors that I have um, in paying the truck off. Like, hey, bro, if ain't nothing going on with the truck, like no engine lights, no nothing, no blah, blah, blah. Like, hey, let's keep it pushing. Hey, at the end, hey, what I owe you? Hey, bro, take that. Leave me alone. Let me run. on. Nah. so I ain't got nothing to really too much pay for all of you. So that's who we at with it. You have your up weeks. You have your down weeks. I ain't going to hold you on the down weeks. I'd be like, bro, pff, let me empty this truck out. <clears throat> I'm about to go to the crib. Y'all got me. Yeah, like companies going to do that. They're going to have you like that. The way some people might talk to you. Hey, bro, uh, don't talk to me like that. I don't know who you're talking to. Like, you know what I'm saying? I pay this phone bill. Red button. Get off here. You heard me? You know what I'm saying? Hey, also, I didn't want to really too much toss this into this video. But look, Pete is all right. I understand that some people send me emails or whatnot like that. You know, this a lot. This on the side. I understand some people send me emails, which is a hundred percent understandable, bro. Salute, appreciate the support. Hey, bro, don't be talking that, that that craziness to me, bro. Don't be talking that craziness. Hey, oh, uh, what the old dude say? Um, just random, bro. I'm not gonna post. <laughs> I'm not, I promise you, I'm not going to post your email, bro. I know you in the A. Have you ever had one of them back massages, like when the girls sit on your back? First of all, bro, peep this out, little freak nasty dude. We not doing that, bro. I'm a whole married dude out in these streets, and you talking about somebody sitting. I don't need my back smelling like no damn bath and body works and cheap juice, like, we just not doing it. And why is you asking me stuff like that? Why? Bro, we not on that type of time out here, man. Don't be doing that to me. Ask me about this truck and stuff. Like, you want to know anything. Ask me about the trucks. Don't ask. Bro, I tell you, bro. Some of these guys. Some of these guys went in the truck stop. Boom, took a shower, come back out. Hey, nitty, yeah, it was ain't it? I see you going to shower, but so I just, I just waited, man. Like, bro, what? You waited so I got to, bro. Ain't no way, bro. It's like, what, what in the stump the yard is going on here? What, what what's happening? Like, why? Why me though? Why me? Why you had to wait on me? You could say, hey, nitty, let me. I let you real quick, bro. Oh, was that like, oh yeah, we're gonna chop this. Okay, bet. All right, cool. I got about five minutes. You know the little thing, you little time on your phone when you log in and loves and the TV. Like, bro, we got time. Like, holla at your boy. Like, that's it, bro. We in the, we, 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 what? What? What do you want, bro? Like, you waited. Ain't no way I'm about to wait for another man to come out the shower. Yeah, you know. <laughs> The fresh sense and shit like no bro i'm not no no bro you know i do appreciate the support though and all of it but sometimes we gotta watch what we all you doing is bro it just be it, it be it be just it's the loops that stone to me yeah it's just my fault man got got the little phone call whatever like that but we back to it man back to it another email right Hey, Nitty, what's that, Nitty? Keep doing your thing. I love to see when you grab that stick and grind them gears. Bro, you can't be. What in the 32 flavors of Bubblicious Bubblegum do y'all be thinking about when y'all send me emails? Bro, once again, I'm not him. I'm not him. I don't know what happened behind these doors. Of some of these truck drivers, but I am not him. And I, I respect everybody enough to not put your business or to screenshot or send anything. Because sometimes y'all names are on these emails. Just be careful about how you say certain things. Because I, I will not I will not reply. 
if I feel it's too suspect, bro, I'm not replying. And I'm just, I don't, I don't rock like that. You know what I'm saying? If I say, if you can't find them, grind them, and then you go to send me an email, bro, stop, bro. Stop. Like, it's, it's a such thing as blocking emails. You know what I'm saying? Like, another thing, being in the bathroom, this is last week, in the bathroom, dude come in, nitty, what's happening? Hand up. Hey, boy. Bro. My Johnson is in my hand, bro. You expect me to turn around and dap you up? In the come on, bro. Can we can we have some type of courtesy? I'm surprised I don't really go to the bathroom like that on the road. My body has adjusted to not go to the bathroom. It might be TMI, but my body has adjusted itself not to be in the bathroom. I can literally, it might be bad for my health. I can go all week. I don't eat as much. No, none of that. And my body over the past 10 years have adjusted itself to where I'm not in the bathroom like the average trucker. I would be, bro, just to think that you in the bathroom and somebody look over the stall because they seen you go in the bathroom and now they got to see, is that you? It, like, Come on, man. Common courtesy. I know y'all came here for a decent little video, you know, on the... But, bro, the courtesy. I'm nobody, bro. Like, I'm just like you. I just hype on here, make a little videos and stuff like that. But sometimes it's getting out of hand. I, I'm not 10,000 subscribers up. I'm nobody. I'm not 100,000. I'm not raffling off trucks and doing... I'm not doing it. I'm just somebody on here that's giving experience, bro. You do not have to. I need it. What's that? Now? Oh, but what it do? Like, I'm going to talk back. I'm going to communicate. Like, I'm not no arrogant, stuck-up driver, bro. We all out shit together. Holla at your boy. You know what I'm saying? It. It's tough. It's tough. It's tough. It's real tough, boy. Being on the road, another thing, being on the road, some drivers, they ride past me a lot of times. I'm probably cooler. I might be out your cruise about 65, 68. Fuel economy, you know, I got to check my miles per gallon, you know. Uh, no, bro, I just be chilling. Somebody pull up flying, like, not really flying, but a couple of, to the point they can actually see my arm in the shifter, bro. And stand up on brakes and ride next to me until I finally be, until it click in my brain, like, what the fuck? Why is you ride next to me? And I go to look and somebody right there, like, like, bro, do you not know you this close from bumping my truck, bro? Like, I'm paying for this. Bro, toot the horn. Hey, boy, that's you. What's happening? Yeah, appreciate it. Hey, I'll let you. Bro, that's it. Y'all like, get off the highway, nigga. Like, that's the next exit. I'm going to get in front of you, nigga. Like, oh, no, bro. Like, we all got appointment times somewhere to be. Like, literally every single day is hard for me to take a shower. You think I want to pull over to a rest area uh, off the side of the road just so we commu communicate? Like, I can't do it. I can't do it. I get unloaded here. Go pick up my next load. Might be able to deliver it. But see if it's I get to the place. Or I can't deliver. Now I got to find a truck stop to go take a shower in. Or even if I had a long day, deliver. Go pick up. I know I got all this way to drive. But boom, I know that I could park at the spot. I got to find somewhere to go take a shower at within my 30 minute break or within a time. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of times we not really doing no 30 minute break. We just all chill like, yeah, you probably securing the load, topping, rolling tops up, checking in anything during that 30 minute break. So, hey, bro, I got to find 30 minutes to an hour for me to get somewhere versus like, yeah, bro, it's it. <laughs> it be OD. I be trying not to talk about it 
you know, but it's it's OD. And it only thing I say is, bro, give you dude a little bit of space. You know what I'm saying? When if you see me, like I say, I talk. I'll chop it if I got time, but I'll let you know, like, hey, bro, I got, like, probably 10, 15 minutes max because, bro, that load outside, they close at a certain time. Hey, what, what's going on? What's that? I'm going to talk to you. But the OD status of these weird questions and these weird conversations that keep popping up, like, y'all got to chill it. You got to chill it, you know. But I did just come solely to bring y'all the little updates or whatever like that on these lows and whatnot you know what i'm saying um and that'd be about it i appreciate you for checking your boy out please like share subscribe comment all the good stuff and we'll be back with another one